Happy Wednesday everybody, my name is Catherine and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out and reviewing the Colourpop Ooh La La palette. So on October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. Colourpop spontaneously released this palette and it is a nine pan pink themed palette. They released it on National Mean Girls Day on Wednesday and it's pink so I mean... And then there's the one shade caddy in here, but I'm guessing any other Mean Girls related phrases are trademarked or copyrighted and no one wants to get into all that mess. So I was super surprised when I received this in the mail. I've never owned one of Colourpop's nine pan palettes and this is actually plastic packaging compared to their usual cardboard packaging. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it does feel really nice and look really nice, but I'm just like, do we really need to make this plastic? Do, do we? Do we really? But anyways, there are nine shades in here and it retails for $12. You do get a nice and big mirror in here as well, which is sort of a big deal because a lot of the 12 pan palettes don't even have mirrors in them and that's one thing that people always complain about about Colourpop is that a lot of their palettes don't have a mirror. So these shades are very very pretty. This is a very bold palette in my opinion. On the top you have three shadows and these are the most muted shadows in the palette. Then in the middle you have three pigments and then at the bottom you have three more shadows that are the deepest shadows in the palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop some swatches of this up on the screen just so you can see them. So from left to right this is Trickled, Soft Core, Poodle, Big Sugar, Opulent, Sandbar, Trove, Caddy, and Moonstruck. And I think that's everything I wanted to mention about this palette right off the bat. I'm just going to go ahead and try out the shadows. I came up with this eye look that I have on today. And I'm going to give my thoughts about the palette and then I'm also going to give a couple shade comparisons that I found in my collection to a few of the shades in here. Just in case you were eyeing some of the shades but you didn't want to buy an entire new palette. I completely understand that. So don't forget to subscribe. I'm here every Wednesday and Sunday. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love the movie Mean Girls. I love it so much. And let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, so I'm starting out with this shade Soft Core and I'm using a BH Cosmetics number 11 brush. I would say this is a peachy mauve shade, I guess. And so I'm just using this as a transition shade, sort of dragging that out towards the tail of my eyebrow as well. That actually has more color to it than I was expecting. I was expecting this to be very close to my skin tone. And I just get this a little bit in my outer corners too to really make everything nice and blended as I layer it. So I'm really interested in this hot pink shade Sandbar. This is one of the pressed pigments. I'm curious to see if this is going to stain my eyelids. I feel like it will. So I'm going into this on an AOA Studio E126 brush. And this is getting swirled all over my lid and up into the crease. Because this is a pigment and not a shadow, I am like going into it super lightly to build it up as I go so I don't end up with too much going on on my eyelids. I will say that I don't feel that this one is building up quite so easily. I do feel it's sort of clinging to my eyelids texture in the center. I did use primer, I always forget to say that, but I did prime and set my primer down. 
I really want to try out the shade Caddy both because it is purple and because it's named Caddy and I love it. But I do also sort of want to try out this shade Trove which is more of a deep mauve with like a hint of red to it I would say. So I'm going to go into both of those shades. I'm going to be using the fluffy end of the brush that comes with Anastasia palettes when you buy them. And I'm just sort of like using tiny swiping motions to put this in my outer corner and get that into the crease. And then the same sort of motions for my inner corner, going a little bit lighter because I don't want the inner eye to be too heavy. I feel like those layered over top very nicely. So now is where we're going to start playing with the shimmers. So I'm going to start with the shimmer shade Opulent. It doesn't look like it's going to pack a whole lot of punch. This is one of the pressed pigments, not technically an eyeshadow, and it just doesn't have that texture to it that the other shimmers do. I do normally prefer applying shimmer shades with my finger, but I just want to test it with a brush to see. So I'm trying to pop that. Oh! Color me surprised. Oh my god, I feel like this isn't really pulling on camera, but in person, wow. Okay, so it's not like intense, like textured shimmer, but it has a duochrome shift to it. So it's very unique and pretty. I'm gonna wet my brush just for grins and giggles. I am getting some fallout on my under eye, if you couldn't tell. I'm gonna try finger on my other eye just to see the difference. Oh, wow. So that definitely packs lots of punch with a finger. Okie dokie. And then I'm gonna take this teensy little lime crime brush. I believe it's meant to be a lip brush, but whatever. I'm going into this shade Trickled. This is like a very, very pale pink shimmer with some glitter in it. This is such a soft shade. I went into it with my brush and it like left a divot. So I'm gonna like put that at the very bottom center of the halo to add a little pop of dimension. That shade has a lot of texture when applied dry with a brush, so I'm gonna try it with wetting my brush. So I feel like this shade has a lot of texture on the eyelid and it's possible that it's just I used too much. You can see how soft this is. This is like from me dipping the brush in. I wasn't scraping or anything. So like there was a lot of powder on the brush. I do think it's very pretty. However, it's like not the easiest one to work with. And I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. All right, so this is the top part of my eyes as of now. I'm gonna go do some face makeup and we're gonna finish up my under eye so i'll be right back all right so i'm back may or may not have taken a little dinner break in there as well so time to figure out what i'm doing with my under eye i think i'm gonna start by lining my under eye with trove and caddy i do tend to try to avoid just straight up pink under my eye because it can just make you look a little ill in my opinion And then on this Real Techniques accent brush, I'm going to go into soft core. So I'm just running that along the purple that we just placed down. This is like the perfect brush for smoking out your under eye. It's just the perfect size. And then on this same tiny brush that I used earlier, I'm gonna go back into Tickled, that super soft light pink shade. 
and this is gonna go right on my inner eye. I'm gonna add some black liner to my under eye. And I'm actually gonna try and smoke out this upper lash liner as well. I feel like it'll look really nice with this color. So the decision to smoke out my liner may not have been the best one. I ended up getting fallout all up in my under eye and had to add another layer of concealer. So we're looking a little cakey over here right now. So final thoughts on this palette. I felt that these shadows performed how I expect ColourPop shadows to perform. The only shades that I really had issues with. Um, Sandbar just felt a little bit patchy, but nothing like unworkable. And then um, Tickled was so, so soft that it like appeared very textured on the eye. It had almost like a foiled texture to it which i have experienced with other color pop shimmers before so it wasn't super shocking it is only a 12 dollar palette and i think you are getting a lot for that 12 dollars you're getting nine different shades a mirror the hang up that i have with this palette is you're not going to be able to create super dimensional looks with this like as you can see i use the deepest colors in the palette but it all just kind of like blends together like it's not very like uh, there's not like a huge gradient from light to dark in this palette in my opinion I did go ahead and go through my collection and pull some shades out that I felt were similar to some other shades in this so I'm gonna go ahead and pop those up on the screen right now my cat is trying to crawl into my makeup bag in the background so I couldn't find alternatives for all of these shades sort of surprisingly an alternative for Tickled is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Frog. These shades are actually identical, I think, in tone and in the glitters that are in there. As an alternative for Soft Core, I found the shade FBO from the ColourPop You Had Me at Hello palette. As an alternative for Sandbar, I found the shade Dippy from the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. An alternative to Trove is the shade Applejack from the ColourPop My Little Pony palette. An alternative to Caddy is the shade Swag from the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. And an alternative to Minstruck is the shade Bitter Better from the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. So if you have any of these shades in your collection already and you are eyeing these ones from the Ulala palette, just go ahead and take a look. They may suit your wishes. And then obviously I haven't taken this eyeshadow off yet to know if it will stain my eyelids, but I'm going to insert the footage of me taking my makeup off right here so that you can see if it does stain or not. So I'm just putting this micellar water that I have on a cotton pad. I've been using these reusable cotton pads and I actually really love them. I think it's such a cool idea. This really did not stain a lot at all. There's like the slightest pink tinge to my eyelids but I didn't wear concealer on my eyelids today and I think if there was just that extra barrier between skin and powder that there would be no stainage at all. I've definitely had some shadows that just crazily stain the eyelids, like the pink in the Morphe 35B palette was insane, like it stained my lids for days. So I'm actually really impressed by the lack of stain that this pigment did on my eyelids. So I believe that's everything that I wanted to mention about this palette. If you did end up picking up this palette, let me know your thoughts on it down below. I would love to hear them. Thank you as always so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys on Sunday.